Harley, can you please talk about fruit gives you cancer? My naturopath said that. My homeopath said that. My psychopath said that. Brian Clement said that. David Wolf said that. All the superfood snake oil overweight hucksters say that. Fruit gives you cancer. Don't eat fruit if you got cancer. Blah, 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 blah. What's the deal? Interesting. I was reading on Facebook. Someone says, Steve Jobs died of pancreatic cancer. It wasn't the chemo. It wasn't the radiation therapy. It's because he used to eat organic fruits and vegetables. <laughs> That's how freaking confused people are. They think organic fruits and vegetables, I'll say it again, organic fruits and vegetables will give you cancer. These are toxic foods. Don't eat them. Eat the crap that comes in plastic bottles that will be floating in the Pacific Ocean one day that get FedEx to your door from your superfood snake oil overweight, out of shape, anorexic, orthorexic, bong smoking huckster. But don't eat fruit. Don't touch, don't you dare touch organic fruit. Don't go near that, especially if you have cancer, because the chances are you hardly ate any fruit to begin with. And you still and you still got cancer. <laughs> you weren't an eight one one er, an eighty ten ten er. You weren't having bananas for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then you got cancer on your animal based diet. And now you're spending all your last pennies, you're sacrificing your wealth to attain health, and you're getting conned by these enzyme dealers that fruit gives you cancer. I know you didn't eat fruit to get cancer to begin with. You ate a lot of junk food, but now you're in my clients. I don't want you eating fruit because when you eat fruit. You won't need to buy my crap. <laughs> so anything fruit is bad for, is it's bad for business. Now let's look at a bit of physiology. Now some of these hucksters say that fruit contains sugar, and sugar is evil. Who says that? We know Dr. Young says that, and we know Dr. Young recommends cooked starch diet. We know that Brian Clement says that, and we know that Brian Clement recommends a cooked starch diet. These guys recommend cooking of starches if you just don't believe what I say, read their books. They say cooking of starches makes the sugars more readily bioavailable. But don't eat fruit because it's got too much sugar. So have starches instead and cook them so the sugar is readily available. And I've got no problem with people recommending cooked starches or whatever. I still think fruit's the best. I know fruit's the best. But I find it funny and sort of sad at the same time that people are dissing fruit, but then they're saying, well, eat as much starch as you want. Isn't starch high in sugar? Yes. Sugar's good, man. Sugar from whole plant foods is good. Definitely. I'm a fan of sugar. We need sugar. Every cell in the human body runs on sugar. Glucose. The brain exclusively glucose. So when you follow these low-carb prescriptions, but you're told not to eat fruit, but then to eat cooked starches, and you're sort of not too sure what's going on, and then you're spending thousands of dollars on these enzyme supplements and wishy-washy kundalini spiritual woo-woo bullshit classes in the Patagonia desert in Arizona with nonsense, but you, you know how to eat organic bananas because they give you cancer. <laughs> People say, but cancer cells run on sugar, Harley. Yes, yeah, so does your immune system. Your immune system runs on sugar. And as a cyclist, we know that when you under-eat carbohydrates, your immune system gets thrashed because your immune system is not getting enough fuel to live your lifestyle. So to remove carbohydrates like fruit from your diet because they contain sugar, it's, str it's crazy. It's like you want to bring down the drug cartel so you take away all the money in the country. Nobody has any money anymore. The country, boom, collapses. When you take away the sugar in your lifestyle, your immune system, boom, it crashes. You can't sustain that sort of thing. So you're going to need the carbohydrates at some point. Eat fruit. Fruit's your friend. Look it up. Read Eddie 1010 by Dr. Doug Graham. This, this chapter in fruit and cancer and tackling fruit myths head on is covered in more detail. And send Brian Clement my, wish, my best wishes and tell him to actually read Eddie 1010 and address it on the net. Because Brian Clement talks a lot of crap, but he will not back it up when asked to give a live debate with myself or Doug Graham. Brian Clement's just nowhere to be found. He's too busy FedExing his expensive enzyme supplements to his customers who have more dollars than, than cents. And so Brian Clement on the YouTube videos requested, I want to see the blood tests of a, of a fruit-based eater.
So I've sent Brian my blood test again and again and again on YouTube, like sending the links. I didn't get any replies and to about the tenth time I sent it to him, his secretary said, Mr. Clubman advises you to uh, cease eating your fruit and vegetable based lifestyle. <laughs> so I wrote an email back saying, Thank you for your response finally. Tell Brian Clements I'll follow his diet. I'm saving up a lot of money and when I've got fifty thousand dollars to do a, a five week program I'll, I'll get in contact with him. Crazy, hey. And then we have people like Dr. Max Gerson. What did Dr. Max Gerson's program look like? Was it low fruit or high fruit? It was high fruit. It was low fat, high sugar, low protein. It was raw, it was vegan, it was fruits based and vegetables. Fruit and vegetable juices, fruit salad, vegetable dishes, low fat, high carb. Low protein. Dr. Max Gerson, one of the authorities on cancer remission. Look him up. Dr. Max Gerson's. Read his read his books. So when people like Brian Clement say so fruit's not good if you got cancer, based on a lot of research. Was what well, who the what research? What research? <laughs> our, our supplement sales researchers? Well, if we prescribe a fruit based diet, our enzyme sales drop. So therefore I conclude that fruit has to be banned for business. Quick, secretary, assisted, can you please write that down? Fruit impacts enzyme sales directly. Fruit is bad for business. I certainly agree with David, but um, I would say that the energy to have spirit comes from sleep. Okay, from spirit, from sleep, Brian? I'll be the politician. It comes from energy, it comes from sleep, it comes from food, and it comes from romance. Ro romance. <laughs> romance. <laughs> romance. <laughs> romance. <laughs> okay. Energy has to do, energy and fuel are obviously a different thing. Fuel being what's in your gas tank and energy what's being what's in your battery. Um, and, and when we consume food, we're consuming it for its fuel and the nutrients that are in it as well, obviously. Well, I absolutely concur with the brain development having a lot to do with the consumption of fruit because there's no question in my mind or probably any competent anthropologist that we were frugivorous, fruit-eating creatures, fruit-eating creatures, fruit-eating creatures, fruit-eating creatures, fruit-eating creatures.